Now in the world of business, online businesses are on the rise as many Kenyans are opting to venture into these spaces majorly because of the massive job layoffs and economic hardships caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Our very own Apollo James had a sit-down interview with two digital entrepreneurs who helps us break it down. Welcome to Switch Television. Today we're having a conversation about digital entrepreneurship. Over the past decade, Kenya has been one of the fastest adapters of digital entrepreneurship, largely because of the introduction of smartphones and social media platforms. Today, I'm joined by two digital entrepreneurs, Wycliffe Auma and Rita Njiru, who have thrived through it. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. Thank you for having us. When it comes to Rita, what's online business and what's the importance of online business? And for an individual, why should I start one? Okay, so an online business is simply the act of selling services or products on the internet using digital devices. That's your phone, your computer, your iPad, basically any, uh, any device that can access the internet. And um, there are different types of online businesses, but I'm just going to highlight three so that people can know about them. And uh, these three areas are areas that we specialize in. So there's affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing simply is the promotion of services and products that belong to a different company using a specific link called an affiliate link. And once you promote the services or products and uh, someone else buys these services or products uh, through your link, you get a commission. Uh, the second one is the knowledge-based business. This is where you sell your expertise. So for instance, you can uh, write a course and sell it online. You can start your own online consultancy business. You can become a tutor. Um, you can become a coach. Uh, the third one is the content uh, creation business. This is where you create content that's supposed to attract a specific group of people. And once these people uh, engage with your content, you can monetize uh, this traffic. We call it traffic in the online business world. Yes, exactly. All right. So a lot of people have bought this mentality that they can actually make money online by doing nothing, which isn't uh, true. It's a fallacious uh, thing. But once you've gotten the right mindset and once you've understood what money is, because for us, we usually say that money is a physical representation of the, you know, of the service or product that you give out to someone. So it's a physical representation of the value that you give. So having that mindset down, the next thing that you need to do is figure out what your options are. We've already learned there's affiliate marketing, there's, you know, there's blogging, there's all these things. Go out there and figure out what, what, which one of these options you know, suits me, which one is perfect for me. And once you've gotten that down, then the next thing that you need to do is um, you, know, you need to learn about that thing and get the skill. Because without the skill, then you're not going to be able to sell anything. You won't be able to do much. So investing in some training, it could be some paid training. It, it could also be something that you, know, you take some time to learn by yourself and so that it, it means that you could, you know, you have to invest a lot of your time or some money in learning the skill. And so once you've gotten the training, then the next thing that you need to do is taking action. And we encourage a lot of people on our channel to take action because you could have all this down, you could have the knowledge and you have the skill, but if you don't actually take that step, then you're not really getting anywhere. COVID made it possible for people to come to the consciousness that there is actually something that can be done outside of the conventional way of doing stuff, maybe the brick and mortar and stuff like that. So moving forward, what, what we can expect is that there is so many people who are going to be jumping on this bandwagon. That's what we're encouraging and that's what we're hoping uh, more people to do that because the future of you know, doing business is online. And whether you're running a brick and mortar store or you're doing it, you know, even if you're running a brick and mortar store, one of the things we encourage people is make sure that you have an online perspective to that business, such as, you know, digital marketing, make sure you've gotten a website and things like that, just so that you can be, you know, visible and so that people can find you easily. But that's basically where the world is headed. All right. So, Rita, so many people have been laid off during this pandemic period, you know, so do they have hope that they can actually do something? Uh, in the digital space? So there's a lot of hope, especially if you jump into this uh, right now. There's a lot of opportunity for people uh, that to start something that you enjoy and to actually 
try and look at the options that you have and make money using these options so that you're not only focusing on one specific area. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us today. That's a wrap from us. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Apollo James. Sweet.